what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back bringing you guys some more content for pokemon sword and shield series 11 and ladies and gentlemen in today's video we're going to be rocking out with a zassian team that also features charizard and life orb garchomp so if you guys are hyped make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button seriously it goes a long way thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator we are so close to 10,000 subscribers so if you're not subscribed to the channel get on that get on it right now but we haven't played sword and shield in a good bit it's probably been like maybe four days but it feels like forever considering i have been grinding pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl there's playthrough going out on channel so hopefully you guys are checking that out and showing some support over there and i'm also doing a full playthrough on my stream which i'm actually almost done but doing that on stream name is right below my face game and there is a link down in the description below and we're also going to be doing post game stuff such as competitive battles doing some double battles over there and team building so make sure you guys look out for my live streams like i said name is below the face cam and there's a link down in the description below but getting started with this team we got zacian in that top left corner what a strong pokemon for this series cannot wait to use him yet again and just dominate some people left and right it's got interpret sword rust's sword as its item and then protect iron head sacred sword and wild charge for a really strong move set Next to him on this team, we got Landorus over here. Intimidate and Assault Vest. This guy's a beast. Great little Intimidate Pokemon for physical attackers. And then we got a great move set with U-Turn, EQ for stab, Rock Slide for coverage, and Fly for stab as well. Middle left is the King of Gen 4. King of Diamond and Pearl over here, and that is Garchomp. He has Life Orb and Rough Skin as his ability, so this thing is going to be able to hit like a truck. It's got Rock Slide, EQ, and Outrage, both for our stab moves and Sword Stance to set up. Once we get this Pokemon set up, we can Dynamax him whenever he wants, actually. Because he does have the life orb but if we do get him set up with a sword stance we can roll out with a dynamax and pretty much just sweep the battle right next to him is another powerhouse pokemon and that is charge up solar power as its ability lumberry as his item and then we got protect blast burn hurricane and heat wave all stab moves so every time we hit it's going to be doing some big damage bottom left corner is a great support mom for his team kind of slows down the pace so we're not just having too many big attackers that's going to be umbreon down here inner focus so we can't be flinched or intimidated as like intimidate on this pokemon it doesn't matter really at all and then we got the leftovers as items so we get a little bit of hp at the end of every turn we also got protect foul play snarl and yawn for this thing's move set final pokemon on the squad is going to be our speed control support pokemon which is whimsicott we got protect moonblast tailwind and then we got weather control with our final move with sunny day obviously we got the prankster and then for our item we got that focus sash so we don't get one Guys, you want to try out the team for yourself? Mental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Series 11 Zacian, Charizard, and Life Orb Guard Tom team. Before we get started in battle number one, I would like for you guys to answer my question of the day, and that is, would you guys like to see competitive Pokemon battles on this YouTube channel for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Granted, they only have casual battles, not a ranked format, but still, it'll be a lot of fun to bring you guys some content. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comment section down below. But we're getting started here. Going up against the Dialga team, man. Dialga's back in action because Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl is here, so everybody's wanting to use it. He also has the Indeedee, the Torkoal, the Hatterene, and the uh, Alolan Malwak. Nick Scalper. Can't forget about the Excalibur, but how should we go into this one? How should we play this? Hmm. What is Jeans going to go in with? I'm liking a Zacian in most situations here. I really don't want him setting up the Trick Room with the Follow Me. That could be a pretty bad option. What was your moves here? It was Sunny Day, Tailwind, Moonblast, and ch -ch -ch Protect. And Protect. Okay. Um, I'm thinking I might lead the Zacian. He's probably going to get off Trick Room. If we don't like, I could go Heat Wave here. I could go Whimsicott, maybe set up a Sunny Day, and then drop a Heat Wave. I think that can do some damage. I say we just lead them to bring Garchomp and then we bring in Zacian in the back. I'm liking that. I gotta see Umbreon's moveset. I forget him for some reason. I'm not forgetting that. We got Foul Play, we got Snarl. Eh. Eh. I mean, we could lead Umbreon, but we have nine seconds left. Let's lock in our team. Let's grab ourselves a win here in Battle Number One. But guys, I'm grinding over on Twitch streams. Like I've been saying in the intro, it's been a lot of fun for me. So if you guys want to come hang out there, like I said, we're going to be team builder. We're going to be doing all that cool stuff over there. And I would like to get you guys help. You guys can help me team build. You guys can actually like make Pokemon for me. You guys can give me ideas for teams. And we are going to be doing some casual battles over there. Granted, they don't have rank, which is very upsetting. It is very upsetting because we are in like a weird position right now where it's just like, I don't really know what to play my online battles on. I know you guys still like to see the Pokemon Sword and Shield content. That's why I'm bringing it to you guys. But we are going to be trying out probably some uh, Diamond and Pearl gameplay on the Hopefully you guys do check it out and give it a shot. And give it a shot. But right now, Sword and Shields are bread and butter, so we're going to get after it. We are going to get after it. He's going to start off with the Trick Room Squad. Uh, we kind of saw this coming. I think I just dropped a Heat Wave, and I might set up a Sun. I set up a lovely little Sunny Day here. Set up a Sunny Day and see how much damage we can do with the Heat Wave. The chances are the Follow Me is coming out here, right? And then he's going to set up the Trick Room, and then he's just going to go from there. 
It seems pretty obvious, right? It does seem pretty obvious. We do have protect, but let's see how much we can do with this uh with this heat wave. We're gonna see how much we can do with this heat wave, because Sunny Day, you know, boosts your, your boy. It'll boost his Charizard, make it do some big damage. But Sunny Day popping. I'm not gonna Dynamax just yet, and we're gonna see the damage output on this. Because it could it could potentially kill this Hatterene. It could potentially kill this Hatterene, which I don't think it is gonna do, but it's still gonna do some big old damage. Yo, that was close. That was close. And he doesn't pop a trick room. He ends up not popping a trick room, which I'm totally cool with. I'm cool with. We got speed all day. Or solar power gonna KO me. Oh, are you kidding me, man? Solar power really picks up the KO. That's super whack. Solar power picks up the KO. Do I have rock slide on this thing? I do indeed. So we can drop a rock slide. And I think that might be your play. I think that might be your play. Rock slide and then go into a Dynamax next turn. I'm digging it. I'm really liking this turn. He might go into a follow me. And if he does, he does. So in that case, he doesn't really have anybody who's going to outspeed me. So I'm re we really don't need a Tailwind here. We really don't need a Tailwind. So let's just do that. And then I could protect you. Or I could just go into a Moonblast. Which I think Moonblast is a play. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how it goes. Maybe he goes to another follow me and wastes yet another turn. We would like to see that. We would like to see that. And then our Rock Slide connects. And like I said, if we can pick up the KO here, we can Dynamax or Garchomp and just get rolling out from there. The so Moonblast is going to fly through here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Garchomp should have speed over this... Uh, over this indeedy, right? Rock side pops through. It connects. Beautiful. Give me a flinch or a double KO. Yes, sir. Yo, yes, sir. Let's go. Big old double KO coming out from Garchomp. Now, if I need to, I could set up the Tailwind, but we might not even need it. We might not even need it. It comes down to a 2v3. We have our Dynamax. We can set up the Tailwind. We have Zacian in the back. I'm liking where we're sitting. Personally, I'm liking where we're sitting here. Starting off strong. He does have Malwak. We can go into a ground move on that all day. All day long. We definitely got a Dynamax, and Dialga is going to be the next purple. Okay, I'm cool with it. He does have a Dragon move, which again is scary. But again, we have to Dynamax. Here. We already have speed, so hmm, what's the plan here? Could protect one Scott, or do I just send this? What's the plan? What is the plan here? Who's he gonna Dynamax? He's gonna have to Dynamax. To, uh, he's gonna have to Dynamax at Dialga. He's gonna have to Dynamax at Dialga. Now it's going to... Dude, it's looking actually really closer than I thought it would. He might be able to take the cake. We'll see. He cannot hit me with a, a dragon move. And steel won't be very effective. To my Zassy. To my Zassy. But I'm thinking, say, no protects happen on the field. We take out Malwak. He can potentially take out my Garchomp. But we're hoping not. We're hoping not. We definitely have speed all day. Because, we you know, we're setting up a Tailwind. And I doubt any of these guys have a Focus Sash. So, we'll see how this one plays out. Let's see. Garchomp, get in the Dynamax. Get in the Dynamax. Let's see what this uh, Dialga does. This Dialga is really like this last ditch of hope. Because none of them are outspeeding me. We got speed all day and we're setting up a tailwind. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. Here comes the Dynamax. It's got to be Dialga. No way it's Malmack, right? 100% got to be Dialga. Maybe going for a dragon move. All right, let's see what this guy's rolling with. It's going to be the Malmack. Okay. Okay, so Malmack is going to get the big Dynamax. He could be dropping a Roar of Time or a Draco Meteor. Or a Draco Meteor. Dialga can learn both of those. So let's see how this one plays out. Tailwind's going to be set up by me. Tailwind's taking the setup. And let's see how this one plays out. Max Quake is flying through. How much damage are we going to do? It is stab. We do got orb. It is super effective. Take him out. Ho, ho, ho. Yo, dude, these guys are living on one. These guys are living on one all day. All right. Let's see it. No one has to be going after Whimscott, right? Let's see a flare happening. Blizzard's going to try to come through here. Garchomp dodges. Yo, you love you see it. You would love to see it. Garch out with a big dodge on a blizzard. Loving it. Loving it. He's going to end up dropping a phantasm. I'm fine with that all day. That's easy eats. That's easy eats. So we eat that up. Now I'm like more sick. Now I'm really like. Sitting. So this thing again could drop a blizzard. Might be his play. But I don't know. I really don't know. Let's see. So what do we do with our turn? That's the real question. Who's going to hit harder? Who is going to hit harder? Hmm. Because I can go for a worm one if I really want to. But I'm thinking Quake would be better because he is special attacking. And that's super effective. But I think the Quake coming out here is really good for us. And then we just drop, like, say, a Wild Charge. Or even a Behemoth Blade over here. Because Behemoth Blade should kill. It's double damage when Dynamax. And it's 100% accuracy. So oh, I'd rather go for that. I would totally rather go for that. But let's just see this guy's play. He's probably forced to do a protect, but we are sitting in a great position. Like I said earlier, if that rock side double connect, which it did, we were sitting in a great position. 
Being Myth Blade's gonna fly here. This should be an easy KO all day. Double damage. It's stab, even though it's not very effective. Yep, does enough. Malwak, get on out my game. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Guard Chomp goes beforehand. Gonna drop a big old Max Quake. Might be able to pick up the KO. But this thing is pretty bulky. But if not, then my Zacian should be able to uh, knock it out next turn. Loving it. Loving it. Max Quake flying through. GG's. GG's, baby. All day. All day long. Look at that. It's like I never left Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's like I never took a break. There we go. Great way to start off today's video. Want to know? Let's hop into a second and look to go back to back. I knew just from the looks of this team that it was going to be a powerhouse. We're hopping into our second battle, and the guy that we're versing is actually top 1,000. We're sitting at about 2,400, and we got paired up with a top 1,000 player. Let's see if we can beat him. Let's see if we can get after it, have some fun with it, but he has a very strong trick room team. This is just a meta, heavy meta Ice Rider Calyx team that features Mimikyu with the Trick Room and Cinnamor for Intimidate, Urshfu, Regilecki, and Tapu Fini for the final three. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good with this team. Um, hmm. What should my lead be? We definitely got to bring Landris. Our problem is Trick Room counters. Our problem is Trick Room counters. We did get lucky in that last battle that the Hatterene did not pop Trick Room, but it worked out in our favor. It did work out in our favor. But uh, I'm trying to think of how we can kind of counteract this Trick Room. Let's go Zassian. I think Zassian as a lead is solid. And we might go Wimscott here. I, I'm going to go Wimscott here as well. I think I'm going to lead the Zassian and Wimscott combo. Bring Garchomp in the back and then Landers as our final Pokemon. I do really like that. He doesn't have too many special attackers besides the Regilecki and the Tapu Fini. So I really don't think we need Umbreon. I just think we swap the Charizard for the Landers and the Intimidate. And we should be buzzing from here. But chances are this guy leads the Mimikyu Ice Rider Calyx, right? And if he does, a lot of times people protect, so I really do not want to overthink it and just go straight to the movie. That's going to be my play if that happens. I'm just going to Moonblast and then go for Behemoth Blade. That's it. That's what we're trying. Let's see. He's going to end up going Mimikyu and Incineroar. So, I still lead by him. I'll give it to him all day. It's Fake Out ready to roll. I could double protect. Hmm. He's going to get off Trick Room. So we know for a fact he gets off Trick Room, which is tough news. Real tough news. How do we play this one out? We could set up a Will-O-Wisp on me. Mm. We don't like that. We do not like that. If he could set up a Will-O-Wisp on me, this could be a tough second battle. Incineroar lead, man. The Incineroar lead. Uh, I'm just going to protect. Might double down on my protects. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what? I don't think he fakes out Wimscott. I think he 100% fakes out uh, Dacian, right? So I think I'll just Moonblast and go for the Disguise take off. Let's see this dude's play. Let's see it. As if he doesn't go for fake out at all and he just... He doesn't. Oh, wait. He might. Protect comes out first. Protect comes out first. Gotta remember that. Fake out does come out. We get the block. Okay, so that's a good... This is so far a good turn by us. Considering he is going to get off Trick Room. We made a nice little read of his fake out coming into me. And we get the Disguise. Up. But obviously he gets a Trick Room and we are sitting in a pretty tough spot. So he could go for the burn. He could go for the burn here, which we do not like. There's the Trick Room. So obviously he's probably rocking will o -Wisp, and I think he's going to send that on me, right? He's got to be sending will o -Wisp, and it's tough because we can't really, you know, swap in anybody that can really, really do it dirty. So I might as well just go straight into a Behemoth Blade, and then just start blasting down, maybe hit up on the Incineroar. See, I wish we did have Protect. Blair Blitz going to fly. That should be an eat from whoever. Yep, you guys have Sash, so beautiful. Sash is going to poke, and let's just see how this one plays out let's just see how this one plays out it's gonna take a bit of recoil damage and the will-o-wisp misses that is enormous that is enormous we need this blade to take out we need this blade to take out because if it doesn't it's tough news i think it will even though it minus one yes okay so beautiful mimikyu drops that that's a plus for us. that's a huge plus for us because that takes the will-o-wisp off the field when we have two other physical attackers in the back great all right so trick room sitting here with four turns he's definitely gonna bring in that ice fighter calyrex that's obvious play that's an obvious play. And with that going on, I really do think he goes for a ground move into my Zacian. So I might just hard swap in the Lando on that. I might hard swap in the Lando on that. That might be that might have to be our play here. Hard swap in the Lando because A, we get that intimidate off, which is big. And B, if he goes for a quake, that could be a crazy good beat. And then we can swap back into Zacian because we can't really have this dude just keep going for ice shots. Because ice is, does me dirty. Ice does me dirty. Um, could protect the Whimsy. I really do think he might, uh... Yeah, we're just trying to, we're just going to try to keep our Pokemon start wasting out these tricking. 
that's really our only thing we can do so hopefully we are going to see a dynamax here and a quake if not maybe just like a high horsepower let's just see this dude's play if he goes for a glacial lance i might cry i might cry there's no way i just don't think he's going for a glacial lance right actually he might that could be tough if he he is going to go for a glacial lance he's going to flare blitz onto my same slot glacial lance pops through ah man oh man we made a mistake we made a mistake that's four times super effective we gone we are out of here i really did think he was gonna die max i really did think he's gonna die max that's ggs man that is ggs we have guard jump on the field this thing's plus one mm. Mm -mm -mm. trying to make a good read with dynamax but after i saw that he, i was just like dude he's going for glacial lance going for the flare but it's doubling down on zassian slot ah okay we still have zassian which is good I wish I could like see how many turns are left in Trick Room from here. But we do. Just protect Zacian. Let Whimscott fall. Set up a tailwind. Gotta be the play, right? Gotta be the play. Let me see how many turns are left in Trick Room. Is it two? I'm thinking it's two. I'm thinking it's two, right? Let me see. Info here. It is two. So protect here. Obviously, and Tailwind. And then Tailwind. It's a must. Right? What else are we going to do? We're not going to do anything else. We might as well set up the Tailwind. We're already faster than him. He is going to withdraw the instant one. There goes that dude's turn. Tapu Finny is going to come out. So the Finsters is going to come out here. Dude, if I can keep this Zacian alive, he thrive. But I don't think we're going to be able to. I really don't think we're going to be able to. So Kyle Rooks is sitting at even because we did intimidate him, so but he's gonna be uh plus one now after his glacial lands. Hmm. Dang dude, we should have he just read my protect and did a hard swap. We could have probably ate up that glacial lance and actually hit up on a Pokemon. It did some big damage, but it is what it is. So he still has dude, and he has top of Finny. He still has a Dynamax as well. He has top of Finny, and my Dynamax is going towards my guard chomp. Oh no. Do I max guard? I think I have to max guard, right? I think I have to max guard the guard chomp. Cause yeah, he just goes for glacial lance that KOs me. And we're gonna hope maybe Zassian can eat up a glacial lance and take this thing out. That's gonna be our only play. That's legit our only play. Dang man, dang it, dang it, dang it. Once I saw this team, I was like, dude, this one's gonna be tough because I know that this team doesn't really have any counters to the trickery. Doesn't really have anything. He doesn't withdraw the top of Finny, and that's just a smart. That's just a smart play all around. Just a smart play all around. We are guarding here because we need this Zassian over here to actually survive this and hit up on this guy. And then Trick Room's gone, and he's gonna Dynamax Calyrex here. And we gotta hope he goes after Garchomp. Because if he goes after Garchomp, we can get some big damage on him. We can get some big damage on this thing. Even though we are minus one, it will be double damage. It will be stab. It will be super. Fun. But let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Come on, show me your move coming towards me. After this, we take speed. That's a huge plus for us. That is a huge plus for us. But then he does have fake out. We gotta remember that. He does have fake out. We don't like that. We do not like fake out. Fake out's tough. It was a good swap for him to get the instant order. Let's see it. That's it. We guarding. Come on, yo. Calyrex, come into my Garchomp. Come towards my Garchomp. Oh my god, he goes for Quake. Yo, I knew we had the Quake, man. I knew we had the Quake. That's gonna KO me. That's gonna KO me easily. There goes my Zacian. Dude, he should've went for the Quake earlier. That's exactly what I thought he was gonna do earlier. That move right there is exactly what I thought he was gonna do earlier. Trick Room does end. We did not get swept, though. We did take out a Pokemon. And looking like we're gonna go one and one so far with this team. Which means we have to win that third and final battle. That's whack. That is whack. Great read by him, though. Great read by him. I'll say great read by him. Um, I could go into Quake, which is probably the play, but he takes me out with an ice move. He takes me out with an ice move all day long. But I'll still go for that. We'll let Garchomp go down. Give him a little salute. Please take out his Incineroar with me. If I'm going to die, you're coming with me, buddy. Yup. Later, Incineroar. <laughs> Later. But yeah, dude, this team is really, that's really its downfall. It's Trick Room teams. But you guys can just tell by the team preview. It's just like, dude, like, how do I get around it? Granted, this team is super, super strong if there is no Trick Room on the field. 
Hellstorm comes out here. This thing is sitting at, what is it, plus two? Yeah, it's sitting at plus two. That's GG's. That is GG's. Garchomp, rest easy, buddy. Rest easy. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Let's try to get ourselves a winning record for today's video. Let's get ourselves a winning record for this video. We're going up against a Pelipper and King Just Swift Swim team alongside with Zacian, Tornadus, Regilecki, and Robin. So team's looking pretty powerful. Team is looking powerful, but no Trick Room. So that's a plus for us. That is definitely a plus for us. I think Tailwind is an absolute must. He has a lot of speed control here with the uh, Rain and the Pelipper. Or not the Rain and the Pelipper. The Rain and the Kingdra. And then he also has E-Web on Regilecki and Tailwind with his Tornado. So I think Wimpscott is an absolute must. We could bring in Umbreon here. We could bring in Umbreon. Umbreon could be a lead. Let me see his moves one more time before I make a decision. We do have Strong. We do have Foul Play for them physical attackers. Um, I am liking Umbreon. I am liking Umbreon for a nice little lead. We are going to be bringing in uh, some heavy hitters, which is going to be Sassian, and then either Garchomp or Charizard. Hmm. Who would be better here? I think maybe Garchomp, but we got to remember that Pokemon like Kingdra are probably rocking an Ice move or a Dragon move. So, so I think Charizard is going to have to be our final Pokemon. I'm liking it. I'm liking Charizard here. Let's do it. We do have Sunny Day. We do have Sunny Day on our Whimsicott too. So we could potentially take Weather Control like that and just get our Charizard in a wall out. Because Weather Control is going to be a huge factor for this. A big old factor. But this guy can lead so many different things. He can lead the Reg Lecky. The Z he can lead any of these Pokemon, to be honest with you. He can lead any of these Pokemon. And that's just tough. It is just tough. Because I have no clue of who he's going to lead. So I just feel like the safe bet would be going to Umbreon and then the Wimscott because Wimscott can pretty much kind of control the battle a little bit. And then Umbreon can stall out, put Pokemon to sleep, do all that good stuff. But he's going to end up throwing out Pelipper and King Just. So there's this. I could Sunny Day, which I might do right off the rip. I think I'm going to Sunny Day early on here and then just go into a Snarl because both these guys are special attackers. And that could be very, very, very beneficial for us. Very, very beneficial. And then I hope he goes after Wimscott and takes that takes him out after that. That'd be huge. We're gonna do that and then just snarl. I could yawn. Let's snarl. Let's snarl. Just in case he died, Mech. They're both good moves. So great lead by me. I really do like this lead. Sunny day popping, baby. We we said, yo, Rain, get on out of here. We don't want cheer. We do not want cheer. But the rain's gone. And we got our drought out and about. Muddy water's gonna fly. Woo! Love to see that. Please show me this guy's going for like a hurricane or something. And missing. Let's see. Let's see what he does. Oh, he gets the act drop on me. We don't like that. He gets the act drop on both. What you mean? What do you mean? And this thing is going to go for a hurricane and he connects it. And he connects it? Uh. Uh. We don't like that. I was going to fly here. Oh, and Pelper dodges it. At least we hit King Drop. At least we hit King Jeff for a drop. And dude, he's, he's just going to be able to swap the Pelipper. And what do I do from here? What do I do from here? Do I just bring out the Charizard and get after it that way? Charizard could be the play. Or I could bring out Zacian. Let's get out Charizard here. Because with Charizard out on the field, I can go for a flying move and start taking speed that way. But I think it's definitely our play. He's either going to A, swap the Pelipper, or do something else from there. But I'm just going to go here. I'm going to go for an Airstream. I'm going to hit up on Pelipper. And I'm going to Snarl at the same time because Snarl will actually drop the Kingdra special attack yet again. And or if Pelipper is Sash, it could take him out. So I'm liking that. I'm liking that all day. Charizard should be fastest on the field. He might have Tailwind, but I don't know. He might have Tailwind on that Pelipper. But that's so rough. That is so rough that that Hurricane lands. If I ever use a Hurricane in a drought, it's never lands. It will never land. That's just not my luck. That's not my luck. We did get a good string of luck in... Uh, in an episode of uh, my playthrough for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I don't want to say it yet because I don't know when I'm releasing the videos. I have a bunch of videos piled up that I've been recording and editing so much. So you guys will know what my string of luck is when the video comes. But we're going to Dynamax here. Come on, baby. Let's get this win. Let's get this win for you guys. Charizard's going to get the Dynamax. G-Max Charizard, I should say. And we're going to pop off with an Airstream. Try to take Speed Control and look get some KOs at the same time. Good that we did have the weather. He might go in the. He might swap the Pelipper. He does not swap the Pelipper. So Airstream's gonna fly. I think that makes Umbreon uh, stronger or faster. So I think the Snarl is going to be working out in our favor. Hopefully our Umbreon outspeeds now. That could be huge. That could be really, really big. Come on, Umbreon. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Nope. Hurricane comes out here. And yo, what you mean? Why is everyone landing hurricanes? Why is everyone landing hurricanes? 
Ronald comes out here. Who dodged it? Oh my lord, dude. How are you dodging two snarls? I swear, if this thing's tailwinding, I'm going to cry. Oh my lord. Yo, come on. What is this game? What is this game? What is this game? Bro, yo, that's whack. That is whack. That is super whack there. That is super whack. I could go for a wildfire. Do we think wildfire could KO? I'm going to wildfire end this. I'm gonna go into wildfire. I'm gonna double down into the Kingdra here. I wanna start getting off this wildfire damage. But dude, that is whack. They should not have a tailwind out. They should not have a tailwind out. Not one, but two snarls? The chance of that happening is just super slim to none. Super slim to none. I actually wanted it to dodge the Kingdra because I knew he was gonna go for that tailwind. I knew it. He's gonna withdraw the Kingdra. And we are dropping a fire move in this slot. So who's he gonna go into? Hornatus, who's gonna die? Hornatus is now dead. That's awesome. That's great. G-Max Wildfire popping through here. Now it makes me look like I'm a god with god reads. Going out is out my game, dude. Helper's going to be gone, too. I think he's going to have to Dynamax to Kingdra. Right? Skull's going to fire. That's fine. That's easy eats. And the Kingdra has Tailwind, which we do not like. That play's going to fly. So what I could do here is... uh. I'm trying to think of what I could do here. I could protect the Charizard and Yawn onto the... Uh, the Kingdra, because we know he's going to Dynamax the Kingdra, right? The Kingdra is probably his Dynamax, but we still have a uh, another Pokemon in the back end, which is Zacian, which is really, really good for us. Really powerful for us. But here comes the Kingdra back out, who I think he's going to Dynamax with his half health as like a last ditch effort. Yeah, he's going to have to Dynamax that. So that's 100% on the Dynamax board. Um, I think we yawn somebody. Who do we yawn? Who do we yawn here? I could guard. I could guard, which I think I am going to do. Nassian could protect. Hmm. Do I yawn? Over onto Kingdra. Yes. I think Zassian might protect here. We have to protect her Charizard. And then maybe hard swap. I don't know. Let's see. We shall see. Let's see a suit supply. Because again, he's going to have to Dynamax here. And with this guard, we could put that king to sleep and uh, keep our Umbreon out. Umbreon's doing good. Umbreon is doing really good. Umbreon is doing phenomenal. I wonder what he's going to do. We're hoping, again, that he's protecting that uh, that Zacian. Because we got to kind of keep that under control. We do have one of our own in the back end, but this battle could definitely go either way. It could definitely go either way. Granted, we should have uh, we should have been rolling here because he should not have Tailwind up. And then we could just G-Max Wildfire into the Zacian all day. We should be, we should have been chilling. We should have been chilling all day. There's a Dynamax from the Kingdra. We're going to guard. Hopefully he goes for that protect. Let's see what happens here. Guard popping through. Or hopefully he doubles down in Charizard. He's going to go for a sub. He's going to sub up. Which, uh, I'm fine with a sub. Let's see what Kingdra does. He goes for a Wormwind. We do get off the block. But we didn't want to change up the weather, which is cool. Yon's going to pop here. I do like that. Now we have Yawn popping. Uh, do I protect uh, Umbreon? Wildfire is going to start chipping away. And that goes through the sub, which we like. We like that all day. That goes through the sub. That goes through the sub. Leftover is going to start piecing around. And then we go for an attack here. Like we, we just go for an attack. We have to go straight for an attack. How many turns left in our Tailwind? I think their Tailwind ends very soon. Let's see. Yes, one more turn left in Tailwind. And we have two more turns in the other. So... We'll go for a blast burn, but mm, we might as well go for a blast burn. Blast burn is definitely reply. I really don't want to actually. We'll use a heat wave just to take off that uh, that what's it called? That substitute, and then Kingdra goes to sleep next turn, but she has no way of changing up terrain, which works wonders for us. Which works wonders. So, attack coming out from our Umbreon. We still have our Zass in the back. Let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. He's gonna pop out here. He's gonna just take out Charizard, right? Yeah, Charizard's gone. A lot coming all night. Charizard's gone. He might change up weather. Let's see. Bye, Charizard. Thanks for coming out here. Thanks for doing work. Good work, Char. Good work. Substitute is a little tough, but again, we still have those two turns in those uh, wildfire now, which is just going to be able to work wonders. Airstream's going to fly through here. He's going to start boosting speed, which we don't like, but Umbreon's going to be able to eat. That was smart by him. That was actually really smart by him. Get that speed. Umbreon is plus one on speed, but they're going to have full speed advantage on but more importantly, we're going to say Night Night to this Kingdra. 
our sunlight fades wildfire damage is going to be chipping around and our yawn is going to go off which is great well go night night take your night cool take your night cool wait a minute what is it gonna go to sleep is it gonna go to sleep oh there it is okay i was waiting for it. i was like yo did i did i do something wrong did i do something wrong but there we go that thing goes to sleep we got to bring out our final pokemon here and how is this one gonna work we double down in his ass here he could protect i could take out kingdra we double down in his ass here up here play we have wild charge we don't have that behemoth blade let's double down in his ass here Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna start chipping away on this Kingdra. See how this one plays out here. He's gonna go. What's he gonna go for? I probably should have protected my Zassian. Close combat's gonna fly. Oh, we should be able to eat that though. We don't? What you mean? Oh my lord. Uh oh. We need some big sleeps. We need some big sleepy turns. We need some big sleepy turns here. King just slumped. Cool. King just is slumped. Here's Blade. Gonna be able to take off the sub. The sub is gone. We do not want to protect. We want to target down that Zassian. We want to target down that Zassian. And do we think Zassian's gonna protect? Do we think Zassian's gonna protect? That's the real question. I think Zassian might protect here. I honestly think Zassian protects. Do we make that read? This is like game time. Like, this is like, if we make this read, we win. I'm trying to think, what should my play call be? Do we target that Zassian or does he protect? I th I'm gonna go with my gut. I think he protects. I honestly think he protects. We're gonna go into you and we're going to finish you off. Go ahead, protect Zassian. Do it, do it, protect. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Should have taken him out. Should have taken him out. We're gonna lose on that. We are gonna lose on that. He woke up anyway. Okay, never mind. We lost this one. Dang it, man. Dang it, yo. Solid battles all around. Honestly, solid battles all around. We got one and two for today's video, but the losses weren't bad. They were just great battles. Our opponents did outplay us a little bit, but hey, all around great battles. I had a great time recording with this team. I think this team is very strong. I just don't think it's that good up against Trick Room teams. But hey, we went one and two today. Not bad for considering how high we are in the Master Ball tier. We are sitting at top 2,000. So all the players that we burst today were actually very good players. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.